Anyways, uh, one of our listeners sent us a submission and they said, A very opposite experience to many typical American kids with Halloween. I, 20, female, have never gone trick-or-treating in my life. I grew up going to Hallelujah Nights as kids in church. And when I got older, I volunteered for... Uh, I volunteered for them. The idea of going up to random people's houses on a cold autumn night and asking for candy honestly creeps me out. Probably because I've never experienced actually going and doing the act. I feel like I could be a better host uh, if I knew what the experiences feel like now that I'm... Now that I'm the one who needs to give out candy to neighborhood kids. I don't think I really was left out in any aspect because my Halloween was filled with bouncy castles, mini games, and a bag full of candy at the end of the night regardless. My boyfriend also never went trick-or-treating and now that I'm an adult and I want, uh, I wonder if it would uh, be fun to go and dress up again or to go to a Halloween party. I feel like many Christian kids can relate to my experiences. Mm. Yes, obviously oh. you guys can. Yeah, it's never late. It's what? Never Maybe late. when Corona's over. Yeah. Yeah. It's your chance. Yeah, you can Cor- have a party with two people. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, because in Korea, in Itaewon, they take Halloween seriously. seriously. And, oh, yeah. and it's, it's to a point where like your cell phone won't work. Because there's so many oh, people. Oh, there's so many people. The data, like yeah, distraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to go to that. Stuff, oh. Yeah. I went trick-or-treating one time in America as an adult Mm -hmm. uh, with my roommates um, on our property. There was different units, buildings, I guess, houses. And one family, they have little kids. And the mom asks, hey, do you want to come over? Like a bunch of my friends and their kids. And we're like, the moms are drinking wine and Mm. then going trick-or-treating in the The neighborhood. Yeah, the moms take their little kids. Yeah, They're yeah. like oh, five, six, right, seven. Right, 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 Do you right. want to come with us? And she filled up like a coffee mug to go with wine for me. And <laughs> off we went to the neighborhood. And I mean, it was like Hancock Park. Oh, oh no. okay. Yeah, but that's like, I guess that's like the nice houses start. Oh. So it was really fun. And probably everybody thought this little kid is my child. Because <laughs> I'm just walking around with him to the doors and be like, trick or treat. Yeah. And it was very fun. And I ran into… I know. Do you guys watch The Office? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I, I, oh yeah. Big fan. Me too. Yeah. And one of the houses was the actor who plays David Wallace. The boss. And I'm like… Oh my god. Really? Yeah. And I tried to remember where it was. No. I was, just, I was just shook. I was frozen. I'm like… I know who you are. <laughs> it was like my it's biggest celebrity… I'm like frozen moment. Oh my god. Did he give you candy? Yeah, oh. he was there with his kids. And I'm like, Did you eat it? I'm like, I will save this forever. Yeah, yeah, was it. the kid playing the drums? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. They was. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, well, <laughs> we were yeah. both like, yeah, do you get what they're saying? No. Oh, I've man. watched this so many watch times. It. I want to watch it, but it's not on Netflix anymore either. Yeah. It's on Watcha. It's on Watcha. It is? Speaking of Halloween snacks or treats, what are some good ones and bad ones? Oh my mm. god. Some people were so Ooh. cheap with their candy. Like giving Cheaper out those… Cheaper than pretending to <laughs> not be at home. <laughs> <laughs> you know they how they have out. You know when you go to a restaurant and they have like free candies up there? That, that tastes like, I don't know, licorice or like… Ew. A lot oh, of Asian yeah. stores licorice. have free candies. A lot of people gave out those and like Snickers which is so basic. I don't but know, it's like, like you, you can't go wrong with Snickers though. Yeah. It's, it's like the like baseline. It. Mm-mm. What about like Twix? Then, Twix, but then oh, there was, yeah, Twix? Oh, I is like good. Twix too. No, but there was that. There was like the small ones, and then there's like the fun size, and then yeah. there's like the normal mm-hmm. size. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, I remember I was always like, man, these guys are cheap. It feels like the small ones. Yeah. Like the yeah. square ones. I'm like, these yeah. guys are cheap. I like the nerds. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot about those. Half, half, like purple mm-hmm. and yes. pink. Yes. Purple and like pink or whatever. Yeah. So good. Once I went trick-or-treating to my neighbor. She was like a grandma and she gave me chocolate and I bit, I broke it in half and there was a maggot inside. Damn. Diane just vomits. <laughs> I was traumatized. Oh, How? Is that the wrapper? Maybe it's really old. Wait, Maybe was, it was, it really a, was it a Ferrero Rocher? Yes! No, because they had the whole thing. Ferrero Rochers. Yeah, they had a lot of maggots. Yeah, they had like a whole what? problem with That's maggots. my favorite chocolate. <laughs> So well, it's, I'm sure you, it's okay do now. Do you pop the whole thing in your mouth? Yeah. You mm-hmm. probably ate like five maggots then. <laughs> nice protein. Protein. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fine. So now I never bite into a chocolate. I always break it and then I look at… Oh, actually I just bit into the Kinder. Okay, <gasps> never mind. But just the fact that you have to check everything that you eat is not that good. Is, uh... 
Hey guys, did you enjoy this video? Make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. So you don't miss another video.